Let's take a look at unit prices and which is the better buy. Nine bottles of shampoo cost $9. What is the unit price? Okay, well the unit price means the price for just one of those items. So we wanna figure out what the price is for just one bottle of shampoo. Now in this case, since it's nine bottles for $9, you might be able to do some mental math here and say, well, if nine of them cost $9, I think it's gonna be $1 for each bottle. But I also want to show you a way that would work regardless of what those numbers are, and even if it's something that you maybe can't do right off the top of your head. The way to do that is to set up a proportion. Because if we relate the number of bottles of shampoo we buy to the cost, we should be able to set up a proportion. So we know nine bottles of shampoo cost $9, at that same rate, or that should be equal to one bottle for whatever the unit rate is. Well, we don't know, so let's call that X. To solve a proportion, remember you want to cross multiply, which means multiply the numbers across from each other. So nine times X, that would give me nine X, and that's gonna be equal to what I get when I cross multiply on the other side. $9 times one, $9. To solve for X, I'm gonna divide by nine on both sides. And $9 divided by nine gives me $1. Okay, and since it's money, I'm gonna write it as 0 .00. So it's a dollar per bottle of shampoo. Three sponges cost $3.90. What is the unit price, meaning the price for just one of those sponges? Okay, well let's set up a proportion like we did before. Let's relate the number of sponges to the total cost that you pay. Okay, well we know three sponges cost $3.90. And I'm gonna write that like this. We can put the, the dollar sign back on our final answer. And at that rate, that should be equal to, well, for one sponge, we don't know the price, so we can call that X. And now let's cross multiply. Three times X gives me three X. And one times 390 gives me 390. Okay, and then I'm gonna divide by three on both sides. Well, three divided by three is one, nine divided by three is three, and zero divided by three is zero. And since there were two places after the decimal here, I need to put my decimal in front of those two places here. So that means it would be $1.30 per sponge. Ten pounds of bacon cost seven dollars. What is the unit price? Okay, so we want to again find that unit price, meaning the price for just one. Okay, so if we set this up with our pounds of bacon over the price, we know that for ten pounds, it costs seven dollars. At that rate, how much would one pound cost? Okay, and then we can cross multiply. One times X gives me 10X. I'm sorry, 10 times X gives me 10X. One times seven gives me seven. Divide by 10 on both sides. And when I divide by 10, it's gonna take one of my zeros away, right? So 70, and I have to move my decimal point two places. So that's 0.70 or 70 cents.
for each pound of bacon. Nine sponges cost $8.10. What is the unit price? Okay, well, we've done a few problems like this, right? For unit price, it's always the price for just one. So one way to find the unit price is what we've just seen in the past few problems where you set up your proportion and solve. Another way, if, if we're finding the price for just one, this works, we can say, well, if we know for nine of them it costs $8.10, another way to do the same problem is to simply divide. If we spent $8.10 on nine, we should be able to divide and say $8.10 divided by nine should give us the price per sponge or the price for each one. Okay, so $8.10 divided by nine, that gives me 0.9. And remember, we're writing this as money, so 0.9 would be 90 cents, right? I can fill in my zero in front and my zero after that. Okay, so you can choose if you like using the proportion method, you can use your proportion. If you'd rather divide to find the unit price for just one, if you divide the total cost divided by the total number of items, that should give you the price for each one, assuming they're all the same price. Which is the better buy? Eight energy drinks for $9.60 or 10 energy drinks for $9. Okay, well to figure out which one is the better buy, I want to know the price for each one energy drink. So we could do this either way. We could either set up our proportion for each one or we can simply divide. Since I want to find this for both, let's divide here. Now for eight energy drinks for $9.60, okay, that means I spent a total of $9.60 for all eight drinks. So if I divide that by eight, it should tell me the price for each one drink. Okay, and 960 divided by eight, if you use your calculator, that's gonna tell you 1.2. And remember, we're talking about money, so 1.2 would mean $1.20. We wanna fill in that zero in the hundreds place. Okay, and that's for each drink or per drink. Okay, and then let's see what the cost is per drink for this one, 10 energy drinks for $9. Okay, well, just like I did before, I'm going to divide the total price, in this case it's $9, by the total number of energy drinks we bought. We bought 10. Well, if you divide $9 divided by 10, that's going to give us 0.9. And of course, since we're talking about money, we want to write that as 90 cents. Right, so we're putting our zero in, in the dollars place and we're going to fill in our zero in the hundreds place. So 90 cents per drink is going to be cheaper than a dollar and 20 cents per drink. So the better buy, if you compare these two, the better buy is going to be 10 energy drinks for $9. Which is the better buy? Six bouncy balls for $9 or five bouncy balls for $9? Well, in this case, since they're both $9, we don't have to do too much math to say six of them for $9 is gonna be a better deal than five of them for $9 because for the exact same price, we're getting one extra bouncy ball. Which is the better buy? Five sponges for $2.50 or four sponges for $2.80? Okay, well in this, sense, in this case, it's actually cheaper to get more of them, right? Five of them for $2.50, that's more sponges for less money than four sponges for $2.80 would be. So I already think this is gonna be the better buy. But just to practice, let's see again one more time how we would figure out the price per item here. Well, if I wanted to see 
I would take my total dollar amount, $2.50, and I would divide it by how many of those sponges I'm buying. I'm buying five of them. Well, if I divide 250 divided by five, that's gonna give me 0.5 or 50 cents per item. Okay, so this one, they're only charging me 50 cents per, meaning for each one, sponge. Okay, over here, I think this is gonna be more, again, because they're charging more for just four of them than they were for all five. But again, just to see your process, if you take $2.80, if you divide that by how many sponges you were able to buy, if you divide that by four, that's gonna give us 0.7 or 70 cents. So 70 cents a sponge is more expensive, right? 50 cents per sponge is gonna be the better deal. Which is the better buy? Six pounds of bacon for $9.60 or five pounds of bacon for $5.50? Okay, so let's figure out, to figure out which one is a better buy, I want to find the unit price, right? Because I want to compare, well, how much are they charging me for each one pound of bacon? And then that's a fair way to compare these prices. Okay, well, for six pounds of bacon for $9.60, and again, you could use your proportion here, or I think in this case, it's gonna be just a little easier to divide $9.60 divided by six, and that's gonna tell us how much for each one pound of bacon. Okay, well that gave us 1.6, and of course, since we're talking about money, we would think of that as $1.60, right? Filling in the zero in our hundreds place. And that's for each pound of bacon. So I'm gonna say per pound. Okay, well let's see our price per pound for the five pounds of bacon. If they're charging us 550 for five pounds, well let's divide that. 550 divided by five, that's 1.1 or a dollar and 10 cents per pound. Okay, and of course, the better buy is gonna be the one that is cheaper for each pound. I would rather pay $1.10 per pound than $1.60. So the five pounds of bacon for 550 is the better deal.